whenever they see me outside, I'm, I'm, I'm being harassed. Like if I'm, a, I'm by myself with kids and I would be chased and followed. And for a person to try to value that based upon your race, it's bad. It's, it's, it's trauma. This Colorado rancher has experienced overwhelming amounts of racism for more than two years. My full name is Courtney Wayne Mallory. Uh, I go by CW. I'm a farmer slash rancher out in East Colorado. CW Mallory and his family have been farming in East Colorado since August 2020. They moved after a hurricane destroyed the Houston ranch that CW was working on. He looked around in, in different states, you know, across the whole state, you know, kind of settled here in Colorado. Like I say, it, it chose me. I really didn't choose it, but I mean, it was something that pulled me to it. It was just freedom. It was Freedom Freedom Acres Ranch, Freedom Acres Ranch, you know, that's kind of where we started. However, instead of being able to live and work in peace, Mallory's family has endured frequent aggressive threats from the community. Well, the, the harassment initially began when I, when I first uh, procured the property. I was approached by an individual that stated that the property was theirs. And I had to tell them that, you know, no, I was the new owner here, that this is my property. They then proceeded to tell me that they shoot dogs and whatnot. And I was like, well, you know, I'm the new owner here. I own dogs, don't shoot my dogs. That, that was the initial start of it from there. And uh, people, you know, hanging around, uh, hanging around the fence line uh, on the property, taking and cutting my fence line and stuff like that, stealing water, throwing the trash, theft of utilities, pretty much, and uh, dumping my property became a dump ground. In fact, we still be strong and we go out and we contribute to the community. We feed them. We go out and we do the things that people wouldn't do for us and we still get criticized for it, you know? Even some of the people we help are like turning their backs. And, and it's, like I said, it's trauma. According to CW, the following and harassment hasn't stopped, despite the public attention Mallory's story has drawn. The support has the support, gotten better. Yes. The support has been amazing. The support has been amazing. The more we get, the harder they are stalking, fighting, terrorizing, being hateful, and being racist to try to get us to a point, I guess, we're all alone again, so they can continue to terrorize us. I mean, we've had maybe 50 people here within the last few weeks, and each one of them is so unfortunate, but we, we are so thankful that they're still calm. But each one of them had an experience with being stalked and terrorized by someone in the community. This is just a part of the Mallory story. Check out episode two to see what happened when they turned to the police for help.